the sound is in your head. The sound is in your head. It, it's in your head. You can't block your ears and make it go away. You can put your fingers in your ears, but it doesn't help. The sound is still there in your head. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but um, this simulation, this simulation is nothing like the real thing. The sound, the tone that I'm talking about is actually much higher in frequency than the one you're hearing now. This tone is about 57 uh, hertz, uh, kilohertz. Uh, 5,000, not 5,700 hertz, excuse me. 5,700 hertz. 5,700 hertz, right? Thank you. 5,700 hertz, okay? The human hearing goes from 10 hertz, uh, 20 hertz, excuse me, to 20,000 hertz. 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, right? 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz is the human hearing. Hertz is a measure of frequency, how many times per second. One hertz is one cycle per second. So from 20 cycles per second to 20,000 cycles per second is the range of frequency of the human hearing. Human hearing can hear, I don't know what the lowest sound you can hear is, but up to about 120 dB sound pressure level, dBSPL, in which case your ears will be damaged. Now, the sound I'm talking about is much higher than this actually. The sound I'm talking about when I've measured it by playing another tone like this one to resonate along with it and listen in my head is somewhere in the 95 to 10,000 cycles per second range. Um, it has seems to have some subharmonic component that means uh, multiple lower and uh, uh, whatever the, the, the up harmonic is called, I forget, uh, Morgellons brain fog. Um, anyway, the sound that I'm talking about has a stridency that almost conveys data, almost like a modem when you used to call AOL, <coughs> you got mail. Well, that's almost what the sound in my head is like, except ten times higher and very loud. Now this sound, I call it a sound because I, I perceive it as a sound. I perceive it as a sound. But it's not actually a sound until I perceive it. This emanation, this radio frequency beam into my brain using some sort of very high microwave frequency uh, is either some person's idea of how to drive people insane, let's just plug an oscillator into it and play it into his brain. Or it's data. I don't know which. Um, but it is possible to turn this thing to a certain degree where I get migraine headaches. That happens to me all the time. Or where I get nauseous, where I throw up. And the reason I get nauseous and throw up is because this thing is damaging my body. It's it's not just that a sound is making you throw up. No, it's poisoning you. And my belief is that the Morgellons organism or nano machine that was built out of parts of organisms is is controlled through frequency. Um, by using a frequency, a certain frequency, a certain wave pattern, you make this stuff grow or replicate or uh, anyway. What does it grow into? What does it do in you? Well, it does many things in you. Kill you is one of them. Uh, cause uh, fibrosis, uh, fiber growing through all of your muscles. It eats the collagen out of you. It takes the 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 uh, hemoglobin's ability to breathe oxygen and release CO2 away. In other words, it chokes you to death, um, among other things. I mean, imagine fibers growing through your brain and your liver and your kidney and your heart and your spleen and your pancreas and your eyes. 
I have these floaty things in my eyes, the Morgellons stuff. It is my belief that Morgellons is a, 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 a micro, a, a nanoscale, micro machine organism that is designed to follow GNA, DNA patterns, instruction sets to build what in the human body? Well, among the things that it does as it kills you is it is it builds parts, semiconductor parts, into your body. Now, what are semiconductors? Well, semiconductors are, are simply silicon doped with arsenic or cyanide or some other molecule that gives it that, that electron it needs to move from one layer to the next, the NPN, which is basically a transistor. Uh, um, anyway, the sound in your head uh, is really horrible and it is with me 24-7, 365 days a year. Very rarely does it go away. I hear it in the subway. I hear it everywhere. I mean, I haven't tried going underwater yet, but um, it's a horrible thing. And uh, that in and of itself causes stress. You know, my muscles all ache, my, my neck and my back, and I, I get these tense muscles all tight and, you know, pulled, and it's really quite horrible. Um, I don't sleep anymore. Uh, they've given me some kind of insomnia. However, they've also given me some kind of adrenal burnout. And I've lost, you know, like, the ability to do anything. I don't care about much anymore. It's really hard for me to be nice and calm and, and relaxed when, when I'm being tortured to death. And, you know, the stuff that runs through your mind, the thoughts that you have, so you realize you're being tortured to death. And these people aren't going to stop. They really mean to kill you. It's really horrible. You know, this is the final solution, friends. This is it, right here. I am the face of the new Holocaust, okay? My death is just another of many, many deaths caused by a system that cares not for human beings, that cares not for love, that cares only for money and power, sex, and corruption, and greed, vanity. I mean, listen, I never thought the world was this fucked up. I really didn't. I mean, I knew it was really messed up, you know, and I know that there's people suffering throughout the world, and, you know, maybe I should have spent more of my time trying to alleviate other people's suffering while I still had a, a, a thought in my head of life, you know. I was busy trying to make a career for myself, uh, make a name for myself in my chosen field, and I actually was doing that, believe it or not, I was doing it. I was right there, you know, when you take off and, and you're just about to go, and I was just going, my wheels were just spinning, and I was meeting the people, and I was making a little money, it was just, and then boom, whatever happened, man. Somebody somewhere decided, hey, wait a minute, we can't let this motherfucker do this. We can't let him have a life when we're in control. He's not one of us. I don't know what really happened, but that's my assumption, you know. My assumption is that I've been some sort of experiment since I was born. That's a really comforting thought, when you find out your whole life has been like the freaking Truman Show. And I know it's not exactly like that, you know, it's, um, it's different, because there are real things, real interactions, real people, real things that happen, but when you realize there's something like this string of patsies throughout your life, and you've been manipulated, and cajoled, and, uh, pushed, and, and neuro-linguistically, uh, anyway, traumatized, and, um, so did I make my point? Did I make the point? Do you people have have some clue now what I'm talking about? Those of you who have this 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 affliction, this this uh, joy to have been one of the lucky ones chosen for this experiment, 
you know already what I'm talking about, and I'm sure this resonates with many of you. Um, this is not tinnitus. <laughs> this is not uh, simple tinnitus, whatever that is. They don't know. Um, my belief is that many medical uh, medical syndromes and things that they say, well, we don't really know how it works yet, but we're going to find out soon. Uh, I think they know more than they're telling. I think a lot of things have just been written up this way to cover what's really going on. I mean, how could you be a doctor in the American Medical Association reading uh, Lancet and following up on your chosen profession, your, your specialty, trying to learn everything there is and make a profit for yourself and be a successful career, da, 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 and not see what's happening? How could you not see, you know? My belief is that doctors are held in a very unique position where they get them all into these secret societies real quick. And the ones that don't, they just squeeze them with regulations. And if they have to, they'll just show up at your door and threaten you. You know, the feds will come and say, doctor this, doctor that, and we're going to take away your license. And uh, that's pretty much enough to make anybody who spent a couple hundred thousand dollars going to college and may still even be in debt uh, to make a lot of money and, and help people uh, change their ways, man. There are so many ways that this system is so corrupt, you know. It's time. It's something is, <laughs> you know. I mean, really, a world where they can do this to so somebody like, me, who's nobody, I'm just like you. I am just like you. You know, I may not look like you anymore, but there was a point in my life where I was just like everybody else, you know. And I wanted some of the same things that people wanted. I wish I wanted a little different things, you know, what I wanted. What everybody wants. I wanted to be loved. I wanted to love. I wanted to create and express and share in the joy of living with other human beings, animals, and plants, and trees in this beautiful place that we were given. You know? And, uh, I don't know. I, I had this dream that I could, if I worked really hard and, and was good at what I did, because I am, that, that, you know, I could eke by, I could be okay, I could survive, I could do what people want to do. I have a family, I have a, a house, and a car, and a, uh, you know. No, man, they didn't let me have these things. And a lot of people say, oh, no, it was your choice, Timothy, you were this, you were that, you made bad choices, you didn't do what you should have done, and da 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 Yeah, well, you know, you can say all that, but... The truth of the matter is, I don't think I had a chance coming out of the gate. You know, Catholic charities, Freemasons, trauma-based mind control, MK Ultra, Illuminati plans and government, and uh, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know what it was about me. I was too effeminate. I was too sensitive. I was special. I don't know, man. But uh, nobody deserves the things that are happening in this world, you know. Well, this treatment, this torture, this horrific treatment of me has caused me really to look with open eyes at what's going on. And I do not like what I see. How, how can we allow this? How can human beings allow this? Oh, well, it's just business, it's just life, it's just this, it's just that. It's just a bunch of evil crap we tell ourselves to justify the evil things. And you know what? It's really only a few. It's really only a few. It's a few. You know, they're talking about bloodlines and royalty, this, that, and the other thing. Oh, it's really only a few, you know. Why are we the sheep? Why are we the cattle? Because they pull the wool over our eyes and they use our birth certificates as bonds to make trillions of dollars off the backs of the dying people, you know. Well, 
I guess if you live in a world that is run by evil, then the most evil person wins. I guess I was very lucky to uh, not realize just how evil the world was for a very long time. <laughs> so did I make my point yet? Are you still watching? Did I lose my viewers because of this? I hope not. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this high frequency. Um, and I'm going to make another version and talk some more about my feelings. Uh, because that's important. Uh, thank you.